Welcome back to the shipyard. Um, I was all set to review this today, but the title of the video tells you I'm not. <sighs> Hidden explosives. You know, every once in a while, I make a video, and uh, we have to talk. If you follow the shipyard on Facebook, you already know where this is going. Um, March 1st, 2018, I'm saying, is the day that Competitive Attack Wing died. Because unless something is done about hidden explosives, the game is, well, pointless. Or... Put it another way, what's the bleeping point of playing the game? Because if I blow up one of your ships in the beginning of the game, before anybody sets a dial, before anybody does anything else, why the bleep did I pay to play in a tournament? Why? Why? It's no longer fun, it's no longer a game. That's it. Forget Blood Oath. Blood Oath is fine. I'll deal with losing a captain to a die roll. But losing a ship to a die roll that I can't do anything about, that you can instantly detonate in combination with Bolanus Coats. That's it. Turn one. Not even turn one. Turn zero. Kaboom! Whiskey, you, you've lost your frickin' mind! Playtesters, shame on you! Shame on you! Whoever let that card stand, you should be fired. You should resign. I'm done. I'm not happy. You've killed the spirit of Attack Wing. You've killed it. I don't care. I, 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 I literally do not care what this does to my popularity. I am done holding this stuff in. You have ruined this game, and I am done being Mr. Nice Guy. I, I, I've had it. Because you see, cards like this, this crap, that, that seem fun. Oh, this will be fun. This will be cute. No. No, this ruins the game. This is why we need a ban list for competitive play. The, the crap like this doesn't work. Blood Oath is crap. Hidden Explosive is crap. Warp Jump is crap. That's it. And there's more. But that's the tip of the iceberg. Those cards have no place in this game because they ruin things like positioning, like movement, like planning. If your list is wrecked by something you can't control, it doesn't deserve to be in the game. See, I'm fine with, like, Gol Madrid. I can deal with it. I can counter it. I can reinforce my captain skill. I can have things that let me keep my captains around. But I can't do anything like this. Like, now Cheat Death is this mandatory card. And that's garbage. I should never have to take something. Because it's the only way to counter a strategy that everybody's running. I, I, I shouldn't have to do it. So yes, you guys have succeeded. You have gotten angry David. Congratulations. You did it. Thank you. Everybody who was wondering what it took, it took this. It took this piece of crap. So I've had it. So if WizKids doesn't fix this, if WizKids doesn't ban it or errata it, or rule that you can't remove the time tokens in setup, which would be a legitimate fix. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done with Attack Wing. Because it's no longer competitive. 
and I don't have to play at the top tier of competitive. But there has to be a top tier of competitive play for the game to be interesting. It cannot solely exist as a kitchen table game. We have to be able to go into venues to play against each other to have something to compete over. And if we don't have that, we don't have a community to compare against. We don't have State of the Federation. We don't have Warp Core Breach. We don't have the Shipyard. We don't have Battle Bridge. We don't have a private little war. We don't have these things that have the community that bring us all together because we love Star Trek. You see, this isn't just angry David, this is passionate David. This is David who cares about the health of this game, who wants this game to succeed, who loves this game, who has poured blood, sweat, tears, who has spent way more money on this game than most of you out there, who has been involved in this game in countless ways, who wants this game to be really good. And when I see crap, I call them on crap. And when I see really good things, I call them on that too, and I praise them for that. But I will not stand for the utter bleep that is that. So yeah, I'm sorry that this is not your happy shipyard video. I'm sorry that this doesn't leave you with a good feeling. It doesn't leave me with one either. And I really don't like yelling to camera. You, you can tell. The videos that I make are not sensational videos. They're not me yelling to camera. I don't do it to get a rise out of people. I don't do it to gain subscribers. I don't. I'm not that guy. I'm not a guy who yells. I'm really not. I don't like it. But the passion has to come out sometimes. And and sometimes it's not enough to sit back and do nothing. And I gotta fight for a game that I love. And so maybe my voice is one of the louder voices. Maybe this is enough to get something out and get some progress happening. I don't know. So, let me know what you think. Let's make some positive changes on a card that hasn't come out yet. And maybe things can change before it's release date in a couple of weeks. We'll see. But uh, I, I have hope. Worf is back. The WizKids rules form is back. They're making rulings. Things are going in a positive direction there. So hopefully something can be done about this issue before it dominates competitive play. I'm, but I'm not holding my breath, and I would much rather get this out there now rather than uh, let it be a problem so, thank you all for watching. I wish it was better. Tune in tonight. It's a Star Trek Adventures campaign. Uh, that will be fun. That will be enjoyable. That will be uh, a, a, a different David. That will be a, a calm, cool, collected, relaxed, plodding, deep, dark, devious David. But uh, a David who's not mad and angry at the... <laughs> the world that is attack wing right now. Um, so again, thank you all. And until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care.